Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I was playing some hobbies uh, in Roblox with my kids and I was thinking it will be nice to have a tutorial to make one in Unity. Uh, also for my kids but also for you. Uh, please hit the like button if you liked it. Um, and let's start right now. So let's start by adding a new project. It will be a 3D project. Uh, the name will be Hobby Tutorial. I will place it in, the, in my D drive. So let's create it. And so here we are. Uh, I will change the viewport uh, a little bit. Um, let's start with the starting platform. And uh, that will be a cube. A basic one. I will change the size to 20. 120 so we, it will be a nice uh, square and then we need a camera controller uh, I have a package uh, let me find it uh, my assets I will put a link in the description uh, it's, it's the Skifolo character controller um, when you download it and you go to My Assets, uh, you can uh, import it from here. Press Import again. And waiting a few seconds. So it's in there. And now we create an empty object. Um, let's call it level. And move the cube into the level. And here we are going to insert the um, uh, character controller. Uh, where was it? Prefabs, I think. Yes. And move it to level. And then we have a small little funny guy. Now we need to add a script to the main camera. And that will be the orbiting camera. And the target will be the camera targets uh, under the character. So, and when we try to play the game right now, we can move it with, uh, look around with the mouse and with the B, A, S, D uh, buttons on your keyboard, you can move the character. Jumping is also working. The blue and uh, green uh, square on the character is an indication uh, if the uh, character is on the ground or not. So let's add some color uh, to the platform. Uh, select it, the cube. And uh, where is the material? There. Um, just pick something you like. I like the green to give it the color um, that it's safe. And then we can add some new platforms. Uh, so we do again create 3D object cube. In this case I will change it to 4114. Oh, four, Move a little bit to down. Uh, so that's one. When you select it and you press Ctrl D, you will duplicate it. And then we can change it some more. One more time. And a last time. And then we create a new uh, checkpoint platform. Uh, Control D on the main uh, part. Move it a bit up and move it a bit there. Let's change it a bit more. That looks nice. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. The 
the blue and green dots are looking good and now we are on the second platform. So that's all working nice. Um, yeah. Now we're going to give it some more uh, colors. Uh, give it a red one, a blue one, a yellow one, and a purple one. So, the first part is done. So now we're gonna add a script um, to the first checkpoint platform. Add component, give the name uh, checkpoint, create an add, <coughs> double click it. This will be a very simple one. After it's done loading, we can remove this. And then we type public int checkpoint number. And we save it. And when we go back to Unity, we can give it a value. And this is the first checkpoint, so let's call it 1. Now we need to make a uh, collision detection system. Um, we can do it quite simple by using uh, the collision collider from uh, Unity. Uh, so we go to my character, fold it open, and then model, fold it open. Then we have two capsules. When you select the top one and add a uh, Capsule Collider, um, then we can change that a bit, uh, I think I can I do this, yes. Uh, we need to um, make it a little bit bigger because the uh, camera controller um, will keep it a little bit above the floor so when you change to this I think it will be working um, yeah and don't forget to select the is trigger um, the thingy uh, because otherwise uh, it will just run off the platform so here we are again Everything is working still great. And now let's add a canvas. And move those cubes in the level. Yes. Create UE canvas. Uh, call it UI. And add a text value. Um, uh, on it, uh, player level. Uh, when you press the two button, the uh, two D button there, and double click on UI, it will show you um, exactly where it is. I move it a bit to the right top corner and call it. Uh, and give it the text player level double point uh, zero for now. So now we can um, make some changes. Uh, and then we create a script uh, where we uh, view all, uh, do all the gameplay uh, elements. Uh, let's go back to the group player. Select it, my character, add script, um, game, play script, create an add, and sometimes it's not showing up correctly, there we are, 
So the first thing we need to do is to create a public um, text. It's not going to work. You think Unity Engine UI product text. Now it's fine. Um, level indicator. Save it and go back to Unity. And now we can um, select the player level text. We just created it and move it to the level indicator. So we can uh, find it easily uh, through the, uh, in the script. To change the level indicator, uh, we go to here for now. Let's just test if it's working. This is a test. And when we go back, let's compile the scripts. Press the play button. We should see uh, in the right top corner, this is a test. So that's working correctly. And now we need to uh, change the tag of the checkpoints platform. Uh, to something we can detect. Uh, I will add a new tag with the name checkpoints. Uh, so checkpoints, that's nice. And then we're gonna build the real collision detection. So let's get back to the gameplay script. Uh, mm. There it is. So we will type private void uh, on trigger enter collider other perfect if other punt tag is checkpoints um Checkpoint script, we will call it objects, is other than get component. Get component checkpoints. If OBA prints checkpoints number is equal to current checkpoints. We need to define that. Let's do that first. Uh, private integer current checkpoints. Then current checkpoints is plus a. So let's have a look. So let's test this. Compiling scripts, yay. No errors, perfect. So when we move to the first platform, you will see current level one, perfect. Now, when we fall down a platform, we want to respawn. So we will program that uh, now. So let's get back to the script. Um, we need a vector tree. Uh, it will be a private vector tree. Uh, spawn points. Uh, spawn point 
it's this new factor tree as zero, zero, one, zero, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, that will be zero, one, zero. Um, and then um, if uh, transform the position dot y less than respawn spawn points dot y minus ten and then we create a new factor with the temporary position it will be respawn spawn points uh, the position y will be plus two so we are a bit above the platform and then we set the transform position to position equals to temp position. And when we test this, and run off the platform, we will start over, uh, but when we fall off the second, uh, the first checkpoint, then we need to start all over again. So we will. Let's go back to the uh, character uh, gameplay script one more time. And here we say spawn points equals to other dots transform dot position. So we change the spawn points to the um, uh, checkpoints collider. Uh, so we are in the center of that one. When we save this and go back, hit play. Sometimes the mouse is uh, very sensitive. When we move from this platform, we start on the checkpoints platform. So, and uh, that's all working nice. Uh, we need to change the, um, the test text we did here. Current level zero. And now we are uh, having some kind of a obby in Unity. Now we can create, ooh, that was not good. Now we can create more platforms and more uh, obstacles uh, the player can uh, uh, jump on. So that was part one. Uh, I will make another part uh, where we move, uh, will create some moving platforms and some more checkpoints. Hit the like and subscribe button. And if you want to see the next uh, video, uh, press the bell button. Thank you, bye bye.